I want to I want to uh, switch gears a little bit. So before you hopped on, I was uh, I forget exactly where I found it. it might have been in your link or like mm. your email or something. But I saw that you're working on some like Web three projects, mm. which is a super fascinating space right now. I'm not uh, like too involved, but like slowly inching myself more in that direction. I think a lot of people are, but would love to hear like a little bit more about that, like what you got going on in the Web3 world. Yeah. So, I mean, the Web3 world, completely different world than just the average, average life that we're living right now. And I think that is where the world is starting to head towards, and whether we like it or not, it's uh, most of the world's going to be heading in that direction. And with that, with that comes crypto. And I know crypto is something where it can scare off a lot of people because when mm -hmm. I was first pitched this idea to jump on this project, I was, I was hesitant because I'm like, ah, oh, crypto is, what, what is it? This, this state currency that <laughs> is just kind of made up. And, but when it, when it, everything was laid out, I was like, okay, this makes sense. So with crypto, there's a big thing called NFTs. And essentially, we like to think of them as trading cards, but they're all digital. And with a lot of different NFTs come, there people are designing games, there's just a lot of different benefits that you can get from ha from owning basically a picture or a, a trading card. And that's pretty much what we've been working on is this whole new world because Web3 is that next evolution in the internet, essentially. And these NFTs are going to be that step into the Web3 world for a lot of people. But do you think, like, with kind of the, the push to decentralization, Web3, like, do you think a lot of these centralized platforms, let's so take TikTok, for example, do you think they're going to be around in, like, 10, 20 years? Or do you think it's all going to be, like, decentralized social media platforms? I think they will be around, but definitely not to the same degree that it is right now. It, like, yeah, it's going to adapt in some way, in some crazy way, and there's going to be a point where everyone's just going to hate it for a little bit, and then people are suddenly going to be okay with it. And it, like that, that's how I see it going. TikTok's probably going to be like, all right, we're making this massive change. Everything about this platform is changing right now. So you're not going to like us for a couple months. And then once you get used to everything, you're going to be okay with what's going on. Yeah. Here's like, I, I've been thinking about this a little bit and like, here's kind of where I think it'll, it'll net out because I do think there eventually will be, you know, a, a decentralized like social media. I know there's mm. a ton that are already, already popping up, but it, it seems like none have really like caught steam. And like, yeah. that's the biggest thing with these, with these platforms, right? You need the network effect. You yeah. need a ton of people to get on there. And so like, I think the only way that that's going to happen is with the continued censorship that happens on a lot of these platforms, mm -hmm. right? It's like, it has to get to a point where people are like fed up where they actually are like, all right, I'm going to like bite the bullet and like make a move to another platform. Yeah. And like Joe, Ro Joe Rogan just did this recently. I forget. I think it's like getter or like gutter. Or something oh, like I, that. I feel like I heard um, that. Yeah. Yeah. So he just made the jump. I, I, I'm not too, too familiar. It was something, uh, I think it was like a, a competitive version of Twitter essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's somewhat decentralized. I don't know if it's fully decentralized, but he made the jump. And like, I think it's going to take a lot of like big name creators, big name celebrities to kind of like make that move mm -hmm. to these other platforms. Um, but then there's, you know, there's, there's so many other issues that come with it too. Like how can something be completely decentralized? Yeah. Like there has to be some type of rules in place, exactly. right? Like it's not like, like I do dislike a lot of the censorship that happens on all these platforms but at the same time it's like it's not like i want like you know all of these uh illegal things and all of this yeah. like stuff that like i don't want to see coming mm -hmm. up so like there's this fine balance of like how do you control it but also keep it like super decentralized at yeah. the same time that's just that's just what i think we're, we're we'll get to at some point yeah, I, there, there, there's definitely going to be a point at, at where that happens because i mean somebody's bound to find the perfect balance at some point right uh, I feel like it's inevitable. It may not be in like in a five ten years, but some point down the line, I, it has to happen. 